Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This week I'm going to be showing you how to change the gearbox oil on this Mark 7 Golf. Now this has got six speed manual transmission but it should be the same for the majority of five speed, six speed gearboxes whether it's on a Golf, a Polo, a Seat, um, you name it, it will be very similar to this process. So hopefully you find value in this content and you find this video useful. So here I have my trusty whiteboard and I've written down some of the technical specifications we might need for this job. And they're straight out of the Haynes manual so we can rest assured that they're from a trusted source. To start with then, the manual transmission will need a fully synthetic gear oil with a viscosity of 75W, which meets a Volkswagen standard G52. Here I have two litres of gearbox oil, which meets that standard. And I'll put a link to this in the description below if you need to get some. I'm just using a bog standard gearbox oil because this isn't a performance car, this is just my daily commuter car and I want nice smooth gear changes. If you use a performance gear oil, you might find that when it's cold, you're gonna get notchy gear changes because it's designed to be at its optimum once the engine and gearbox is up to temperature. So I'd recommend using just a standard gearbox oil for this job. Now I'm not going to be covering the DSG gearbox, the automatic gearbox in this video because I haven't got one, but the DSG transmission has to have a special oil as well. And again, I'll put a link to that in the description below if you've got a DSG gearbox. The oil capacities are as follows. So for the manual gearbox, if you've got the five speed, you're going to need two liters. If you've got a six speed, there's two different types of gearbox. Depending on which one you've got, it can be between 1.9 and 2.3 liters. I've got two liters, so hopefully it's this one, but it's more than likely gonna be this one. Luckily, I've got a little bit more oil over there that I can just top it up with, and it's the same grade, 75W, so that'll be just fine. But I'd recommend getting three liters to be on the safe side, and then you can always return one if you don't use it. I thought I'd put the DSG gearbox oil capacities there, because if you have a look at the six speed, 5.2 liters, that's quite a lot of oil. Volkswagen doesn't actually specify a recommended oil change interval for the gearbox oil. They say that it should last the lifetime of the vehicle. I don't really believe in lifetime servicing as your gearbox oil is gonna be really dirty and the components are gonna get worn inside there if you don't change out the gearbox oil. So I leave that up to you, but I would say every 50,000 miles would be good. My car's done 100,000 miles now and I haven't changed the gearbox oil yet. I'm slapping a little bit, so I'm gonna be changing it today at around 100,000 miles. I believe that prevention is better than cure, or as the British would say, better safe than sorry. And lastly, at the bottom of my whiteboard here, we have the torque specifications for the gearbox drain and fill plugs. So for the five speed, depending on whether it's got a spline key to open it or a hex key, there's the different torque specifications there. This specific gearbox is 35 Newton meters, and for the manual, boxes if it's got the multi-point socket head it's 30 newton meters and if it's a hex socket 45 newton meters it's worth mentioning that i've taken the car for a little drive this morning so it's up to temperature and it should help the gearbox oil drain out nicely i'm going to start off by jacking the car up and using an axle stand to just support it now there's just enough room on this jacking point here to get an axle stand in and the jack, so if you get them side by side. There we go. Just a quick point about health and safety, it's worth wearing some safety glasses when you're working underneath vehicles because you get little bits of dirt falling in your eyes and wear some gloves as well because used engine oil or gearbox oil was carcinogenic, so just protect your skin. And the glasses. And we've got a T25 Torx bit in here for removing the belly pan. And we also need a T40 for the three at the back. To remove the belly pan from the front, you may find you have to get a screwdriver in behind these plastic tabs. 
just to unclip the belly pack. So now we've got good access to our gearbox, we can locate the fill and drain plugs. So this is a fill here on the side and we've got our drain plug on the bottom. And they've both got a hex head on this one, but you may find that yours has got a spline key. So for this gearbox, it requires a 10 mil hex socket. So we can put that in there and open the fill plug. And I always recommend opening the fill plug first, just in case you can't get that undone for whatever reason. Um, you haven't drained your gearbox oil out yet so i'd start off with the fill plug just crack that off make sure you can get it open and then drain the gearbox oil out from this one now i'm going to remove the drain plug and empty the gearbox make sure your catch tray is underneath it And if we remove the fill plug, it should help that oil come out. There we go. I think it's time for a cup of tea. We'll leave that drain in, make sure we get all of the oil out, and then we can come back and fill it up. I measure out the exact quantity of oil that we took out of the gearbox, so then we can identify which gearbox we've got in the car and make sure that we've got enough oil to go back in. And it's 2.3 litres, I thought it would be. Luckily I've got a little bit more oil over there. So we've measured out the gearbox oil and we've got 2.3 litres. So we know it's a type 02Q6B gearbox. And the torque specifications for the fill and drain plug being a manual box with the hex socket is 45 Newton metres. Wipe off any residual oil. Put the drain plug back in and we can torque that up to 45 newton meters so i'm just going to get my clean hose and feed it down front here into the gearbox so we can fill it from above that should be good and i've got a clean funnel here so we'll put that in the end of our hose and now we're ready to fill the gearbox up make sure it's in the hole nicely at the bottom oh look it does come with this nice spout on the bottle so you could potentially squeeze it in from underneath but this way is easier this is a second bottle going in just look how clean that oil is in comparison to what we drained out and it's going to reduce the wear on our gearbox because we haven't got any of those metallic particles in the oil so well worth doing in my opinion it's completely up to you and there we go two liters that's it pull the last drop in hey okay, let's remove our hose from the gearbox just have a piece of rag ready to catch any of the excess oil refit the fill plug and torque it up to 45 newton meters or whatever your gearbox torque specification is. Job done. I'm just refitting the belly pan and then we can remove the car off of the jack stands. So there you go, that's how you change the gearbox oil on a Mark 7 Golf, but it'll be the same process for pretty much all manual transmissions. I hope you found value in this content and you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed, 
and if you click that alarm bell you'll get notifications when i post new videos i've got loads of videos on the channel now everything from maintaining and repairing this mark 7 golf i did a full van build series showing you how to convert a camper van from start to finish i've got lots of different projects um, motorbike repairs so please check it out i hope you enjoy the channel and if you do don't forget to subscribe and hopefully i'll see you again soon cheers guys bye for now